Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the new F420 stack from AJLRC. In this video I'm going to go over its features and soon I'm going to feature it on a build video. The F420 is a 20 by 20 stack and is based on these two components which can be bought separately or together. Over here we've got the F4M3 flight controller which is running Omnibus F4 Femur and comes pre-flashed with Betaflight 3.2.3 and over here we've got a BLLES 20 ampere 4-in-1 ESC which supports up to DSHOT 600. So now let's see what has been changed between the older stacks from AJRC and the new one. First of all, the previous mini stacks from AJRC are using these pin headers in the center, which is quite convenient, but can cause some issues. For example, I had some issues with some of the motors not spinning because the connector wasn't well secured. In addition, after a crash, the pin headers can be detached, which is what happened to me on this Atom V2. So you can see the F428 ESC is missing the pin headers over here. So now this ESC is no longer usable. On the new stack, instead of using the pin headers, it's using this six pins connector, which in my opinion is going to be more durable and also more reliable than the pin headers. The problem is that if this connector is going to be attached or bent, it's going to be also hard to fix the ESC and the flight controller because they are missing the signal pads and also the battery plus and minus pads. So they're only using this connector and I do understand that these boards are quite crowded so it's a little problem to include those pads on the flight controller and ESC but I do hope that in the future AJLRC are going to make it. In addition pay attention that if you're going to purchase the ESC and flight controller separately you're going to get these connectors which means you don't get this six pins to six pins connector and you will need to buy it separately or prepare your own one. Luckily I have tons of connectors so I found something but if you're going to buy them together you're going to get this six pin to six pin connector. The next difference is that the previous stack is using M2 screws whereas the new one is using M3 screws but don't worry you will still be able to use M2 screws because as you may know the latest micro quadcopters are using M2 screws so you will still be able to use them and it won't be an issue. There is however a big change in terms of dimension so here you can see the previous flight controller next to the new one you can see that it is much bigger. In terms of weight the older flight controller weighs about 3.68 grams and the new one weighs 5.64. The older ESC, this is from the F440 stack which is a 40 ampere ESC, weighs 5.14 grams and the new one weighs 7.9 grams. So in total the new stack including the wire but without the spacer weighs 14.17 grams and the older stack weighs 8.81 grams so it's a major difference. The outer dimensions of the flight controller are about 30.3 by 32.3 millimeters and the outer dimensions of the ESC are about 38.1 by 34.7 millimeters. Here you can see how the stack looks like when it's assembled. You can see that the six pins connectors are located on the same side and on the bottom of the ESC which makes it a little bit harder to connect the battery leads. It's not that bad but I think that a better design was to place the battery leads on the bottom of the ESC. In addition one thing that I didn't mention is that this 20 ampere ESC supports between 2 to 4 S light battery and has a current peak of 25 amperes for 10 seconds. Along with the ESC we're also getting this 1000 microfarad 35 volt capacitor. So the total weight of the stack including the mounting screws and also the capacitor is about 18.25 grams. Now if you compare the previous flight controller and the new one I can tell you that all the pads that exist on the older one exist also on the new one but they're just located on the top whereas on the previous one some of them are located on the bottom because the previous flight controller is smaller so now they have more real estate to locate all the pads on the top which in my opinion is more convenient. Besides that it features the same processor and I think also the same components so the performance should be quite similar. You can also see that now the new stack is red. All the new flight controllers and ESCs and also TXs actually are now featuring the red color which is quite nice. In terms of pricing the new stack is actually cheaper than the F428 and costs $63 which is not bad at all and I do think and hope that it's going to be more durable than the F428 and as I mentioned in the beginning of the video soon I'm going to feature it on the build video and then I'm going to find out if it's true. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this tag, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.